Welcome to Mahjong Central. My name is Michelle. I'm going to do some Charleston modeling for American style using National Mahjong League rules. If you don't know how to play yet, there's a link below the video. Just look for the words show more and click that to expand the video description and you'll find that link. Oh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing. And then when you do subscribe, click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any videos where you might learn some new strategies or gain an insight into the game that may give you an advantage at the table. Let's do some chain reaction. I have all my tiles out and they've been mixed. I'm going to take 14 random tiles. We'll just say we're the dealer for this exercise. And now I'll create the Charleston. When you create the Charleston, make sure that there's no jokers in here because you want to be able to recreate this and those jokers will uh, mess up the process because you have to grab a random replacement tile and that's a variable that you can't repeat. So we want this to be repeatable so you can test your instincts. So I have my Charleston ready. Let's see what we have to work with. No jokers. That's a good start. If you're playing a pair hand. Let's see if we can play a pair hand. First, let's take a photo because we want to recreate this. Okay, there's the starting hand here. I'm thinking we can try a pair hand, maybe one, three, five, seven, nine with fives. Let's just keep all the odds. And that even gives us tiles that we can pass. So we're going to play an odd hand. Let's pass these three. Take a photo of that incoming pass. We got a five bam. If we're going to play that pair hand, that five bam can help. Let's keep the seven. Maybe we should keep big odds. And that way we can maybe play the pair hand and then give ourselves an option to play big odds. So let's pass these three. Let's actually break that up a little bit and pass the east. So let's take a photo of that. And I think we can pass it because we need big odds or dots. Okay, let's take a photo of that. And I think we need to reassess because now we have another multiple. So we have a one, nine, nine, and fives. We could play five, seven, five, seven, nine. Here's the challenge. We have like numbers and a pair. Here's five, seven, five, seven, nine. So we have to make a choice because I'm not going to pass a flower and I'm not going to pass like numbers. That's just as bad as passing a pair. We are now through the obligatory Charleston. We went right across left. I could stop the Charleston, but I don't know what hand I'm playing. Don't stop the Charleston unless you are down to one hand and you have no gaps. If we play five, seven, five, seven, nine, we have all these discards. I think that's probably the hand we should play. Five, seven, five, seven, nine. Let's break up these multiples here so we could pass three tiles and continue the Charleston because we're going to get nine more tiles to help us with whatever hand we picked. Okay, there's a nine, that's a keeper. And now we have tiles that we can pass. Let's pass one of each suit. Well, dot, bam, wind. 
We can even make that a little better by passing an even and odd and a win. Now these are consecutive, so there's a little bit of a risk there. Oh, you know what? I forgot to take a photo. I'm going to take a photo and try to figure that one out. Okay, so we'll pass these three. Oh, there's a five. That's a keeper. Oh, wait, we got to take a photo. I don't remember if I took a photo. Okay, that's a keeper. So let's pass these three. I think passing a white dragon is just as bad as passing a flower. They're very valuable because they're both a white, a white dragon and a zero. Okay, we'll take a photo of that. Okay, so we have Joker bait. And we have three tiles here that we potentially could pass, but I'm not going to pass a white dragon. Five, seven, five, seven, nine. If we get a seven crack or one of these, this hand will really be strong. Let's pass two. So we're going to pass one blind. Okay, so we have discards. That was not too bad though. So we have three discards and joker bait for five, seven, five, seven, nine. And that is the, let's see, second hand, second from the bottom under odds. So let's recreate this now and see if there was a better option. I don't recall what the other option was. I think it was all odds, but let's, um, let's see. Four, four, six. That's what we started out with right there. Okay, I'm going to recreate the Charleston now. We've got the Charleston the way it was, and our hand is at the starting point. Now we have to decide. I'm thinking the wins are going to have to go away. So if we build around multiples, we have one, nine, five. Clearly they're odd. So I still think that that was a good choice. Odds. Let's pass these three. So we have a five bam, a seven crack, and we have two discards because I'm not passing a flower. Let's stick with big odds, although we could play one, three, five, five, seven, nine. Ugh. We want to build around the five and the nine. Maybe we could play one, three, five, five, seven, nine, and this could be joker bait. So let's, let's give up on this nine here and pass these three. Two, four, one. Now we have a one. Hey. Oh, we have the wrong tiles. I was thinking we could play lucky 13. We're kind of in between. One, five, three, five, maybe one, three, five. And we can use this as joker bait or split it up right now. Let's pass those three. Let's play little odds. There's a three. And here we can pass one of each suit. We're going to focus on little odds. There's a big odd. Let's pass these three. There's a uh, little odd. And here we have West nine white, and we have one more pass. So we have here one, three, five, three, five. I'm thinking one, three, three, five. I think I would hold the five. 
We could even play one, three, three, five with the dragon. That would be the third hand down. Let's break up the one. No, let's keep the one and give up the five. Because then we could also play the one, three, one, three, five, which is the second from the bottom. You want to leave yourself as many options as possible. Let's pass these three. We got a flower for joker bait. And I think I would still pass two because I want to leave myself op leave myself options. Here we have one, three, three, five, and some joker bait here and here. If we played one, three, where we have a gap of no three dot, one, three, five, then we would have this as joker bait. Let's pass two, passing one blind. And we have discards. So in this case, this was the better option. Just buy a tile or two because we've got discards, two discards and joker bait. But we can't use all of these. We either can play the one, three, three, five with dragons, which again is the third one down, in which case we have two sets of joker bait plus two discards. So before we had three discards with joker bait, that's five discards. Here we have two sets of joker bait with two discards, that's six to throw. If we played one, three, one, three, five, where we're missing the three dot here, we would have also six discards, four with joker bait. So, I do think that the original plan was the strongest. This little odds option though was pretty strong too. I think just one tile off from the first option. So my instincts I think were correct. If you would have done something different, write it in the comment section and let me know. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing and then click that bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any opportunities to learn maybe a new strategy or gain an insight into the game that'll give you an advantage at the table. Hey, and if you've already subscribed, thanks for joining my channel. Between now and the next chain reaction for American style using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.